the ocean, one of the few places on the face of the earth that man has yet to fully explore, and a frontier that I've never even faced until today. I'm Mike Ransom Jr., and today I'm going coastal. On this special episode of The Animal Adventurer, the good folk of the Georgia DNR asked my college's biology club and myself to help tag Red Drum off the coast of Georgia. Now, I'm from middle Georgia, and I don't hang around saltwater much, but when we got there, well, looks like we're here. I was fun. already hooked. <laughs> Get it? You see? We gotta catch the red drum, measure them, and tag them for research purposes. And don't worry, the fish will only feel just a little bit of pain, like getting a shot almost. We met up with Captain Jay, our guide for the day, and then we set off on our adventure. But before we get started fishing, we need some live bait. Captain says that the best way to find schooling fish is by using the pelicans as a guide. See, they'll fly way up in the air and look down with their little eyes and scan the water. When they see a school of fish, they'll fly lower and lower and lower and dive bomb into the water like a rocket. Nothing yet. I don't see nothing. Ah, bingo. There's one. That might be a good spot. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. I'm telling you, there's a million. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Uh, Just from that little throw? <laughs> yeah, watch yourself. I need to get Wow, I never expected there to be that many fish under there. Professor Fairbrass, my biology professor, told me that these are menhaden, a species of bait fish that swim in schools and filter feed with these weird looking mouths of theirs. Good lord, funny looking, ain't it? We've got a good haul of bait, but looks like we have a few visitors that aren't fish or birds. Well, blow me down. A wild pod of bottlenose dolphins. These animals are in the cetacean family with porpoises and killer whales. Despite their cute and cuddly look, these animals are actually really good predators. They have a mouth full of sharp teeth and are also armed with a sonar called echolocation. They swim through the water and make little clicking noises like something like that. And fish in the area bounce the sonar back and it's easy money for them. This is also seen in bats. A great sight of one of my favorite marine animals and one that was certainly unexpected. Dolphins are one of my favorite animals on the face of the planet, only rivaled by the saltwater crocodile and that's only rivaled by the killer whale. <laughs> but today's not about them, we actually had to catch some fish for research. So let's get to it. Dolphins, yes. Let's go get some fish. We're back on the hunt. It was time to catch some fish. Captain Jay took us to one of his hot spots and it wasn't long after we set up those rods that they started bending over the boat. And look, my good buddy and volunteer cameraman, Caleb. We got this, up. Caleb. Stay with him, Cameraman Caleb. getting in on the action. That one was on that side, okay? Yeah. 
swear that one's actually more than good. You got him, Carolyn. Just stick with him. Just stick with him. He almost got him. He's almost just don't don't get him in the motor. Come on, Caleb. You got him. It's gonna surface any minute now. Yeah, that's a drum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Time for drum. Okay. Yeah, that thing is huge. You're with him. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. Yeah! <laughs> Wow, what a fish. Good job, Caleb. Nice catch. I also got one of these beautiful fish off camera. But I'm going to let the professor explain how we tag and measure these animals. Eighty-one exactly. Eighty-one. Eighty-one, baby. Eighty-one inches, Frank. First red drum see. catch. Can you, can you, the animal adventure. And this is how these animals are tagged. Take that scale out. This is for research. So we've removed the scale. You can see the little hole where the tag can go. Hold him tight because I'm going to push it in there. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. He's not gonna like this. Remember what I you said in the pilot nice. video about being be calm with the animals and they'll be calm with you? You see he wasn't struggling, right? Exactly. Now it's time to go home. Bye, friend. Yeah, I got it. See you, bud. Yes! <laughs>
and because I was fighting with him and my buddy Caleb, we couldn't get that much footage. So I'm happy to have what the professor got for us. So thanks for looking out for us, professor. My first saltwater adventure, <laughs> and it's certainly one for the record books. Not only is it my first saltwater adventure, it's also, to the date that this video is posted, the farthest I've ever went for an animal adventurer video. And wow, I couldn't ask for anything else. I mean, everything, it was just wow. <laughs> That's the only thing I could say is wow. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. And I can't wait to take you on more because the, this was great. Well, that's the whole hog. <laughs> it's been a few days since our adventure, and I mean, wow, it was just great. I can't, I can't even talk straight. I, I had such a good time. I mean, we got to see sharks, we got to see dolphins, we got to see birds, we got to see red drum, and we even got to see a stingray, a wild stingray, and I mean, wow all all for research purposes we weren't eating them it was research and i mean anything that has to do to condone research peaceful research that is i'm all for it but yeah a few shout outs before we end this video i'd like to shout out captain j if you're ever in brunswick and you want to go fishing i'll put his information in the description below so you can call him up and i'm sure he'll be happy to bring you on his vessel and take you out there and I mean, wow, just make sure you're holding your rods because you're in for some fights. <laughs> and I also like to thank the GMC Biology Club for letting me come on this trip with them and letting me film. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, I'm just ecstatic. And I'd like to thank Professor Fairbrass, Professor Sergio, because they organized the trip and they're also the heads of the biology club so thanks guys it was a real pleasure <laughs> i also like to thank the georgia department of natural resources for letting us come down and conduct this research for them i mean i i loved helping you guys i mean i loved it for if it's research i'll do it i mean yeah i loved it and one last person a fan actually asked me to shout them out so Shout out to Horse Lover 10. Thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in. It's going to be great. Yeah, that, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more. I keep on saying that because my mind is just all in the air. <laughs> One more thing. In honor of Steve Irwin Day, i just like to stress that when I'm talking to the camera, when I'm talking, I'm talking to you. I mean, you're with me. You are with me. This camera is the link between us. If you're watching this, you're standing right here beside me. Whether it's a snake, buffalo, and even later on in the future, hopefully crocodiles. If I'm talking to you through this camera, you are right here with me. And Steve, he wanted that. That's what Steve was all about. And that's what I want to give to you guys. And that's it. That's the end. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Make sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe and click that little bell icon beside the subscribe button. It'll alert you to everything I post. You'll never miss an adventure, and you don't want to because it's going to be great. And until next time, keep adventuring. If you haven't already, please support Australia Zoo's Wildlife Warriors Worldwide. It's ran by Steve's family, and they do everything possible to protect and conserve wildlife across the globe. And hey, when you donate, tell them the animal adventurer sent you. 